Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yet another sinister plot by the Chinese has been crushed in toto by our braves. The sinister pattern to change the status quo along the line of actual control ended up with Chinese troops getting a bloody nose by the defenders of our country. Our braves at the border. Top army sources at the border have told Times Now how the Chinese were not just bashed black and blue, but were chased out of uh, what was Indian territory, which they wanted to make their own. And uh, some of them were even captured by Indian braves. Defeated and pushed back, the enemy scurried back for cover into their own side. The Raksha Mantri and Home Minister Amit Shah made it clear that our soldiers secured every inch of India's soil. Listen in. China ke is prayas ka hamari sena ne dhanta ke saath saamna kiya hai dakshin mein aur is aur is face off mein haatha paayi bhi hui hai. Bharti sena ne Bahaduri se PLA ko hamari territory mein atraman karne se roka. और उन्हें उनकी पोस्ट पर वापस जाने के लिए मजबूर कर दिया अध्यक्ष महोदय कि हमारे किसी भी सैनिक की न तो मृत्यु हुई है और न ही कोई गंभीर रूप से घायल हुआ है जब तक भारतीय जनता पार्टी की मोदी सरकार चल रही है एक इंच जमीन पर भी कोई कब्जा नहीं कर सकता कल अपने सेना के जवानों ने जो आठ की देर रात को और नौ की सुबह को जो वीरता दिखाई है मैं इसकी बुरी बुरी प्रशंसा करता हूँ इन्होंने घुसे हुए सभी लोगों को कुछ ही घंटों में वापस खदेड़ दिया और हमारी भूमिका रक्षण किया है However, some in the opposition are not impressed or convinced and are back to peddling the lies that they did during Galwan face-off in 2020. The chorus that China has grabbed India's land is being heard once again from the opposition camp. The Congress says that it's high time Prime Minister Modi breaks his silence and focuses more on national security rather than building his own image. Listen in to the Congress's attack. No one is questioning the, the army's bravery. The army has always been very deliberate, but it is a lack of political leadership of the, of the Modi government. As far as China is concerned, they are scared to name them. This shows that they, both the ministers are at opposite ends. This is a deliberate strategy to hide the fact that for the past four days, this government was concealing the truth from the people of India. China will be able to do it in our country. जमीन कब्जा करते हुए हमारे जो सीमा की जो सुरक्षा उसको खतरे में डालने के लिए हम अपने पड़ोसियों के साथ अच्छे रिश्ते जो हैं बना नहीं पा रहे हैं चीन के साथ भी कुछ मामला बन नहीं रहा है हम अपने पड़ोसी बदला ही नहीं बदला नहीं सकते हैं उनके साथ बेहतर रिश्ते जरूर बना सकते हैं I don't know what failure the government of India had they have not some intelligent failure is there they have not expected this but the government of India should take uh, uh, responsibility for the fight. The center rained fire on those claiming that the government tried to suppress the border clash. Amit Shah slammed the Congress party in particular and reminded it of its secret deal with the Chinese Communist Party when it got donations into the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. Listen. Eight inch jamin par bhi. कोई कब्जा नहीं कर सकता पांच नंबर का प्रश्न देखकर मैं इनकी चिंता समझ गया पांच नंबर के प्रश्न है राजीव गांधी फाउंडेशन के एफ सी रजिस्ट्रेशन को रद्द करने के बाद कि राजीव गांधी फाउंडेशन को 2005 हजार और छह हजार छह सात के वित्तीय वसाल में चीनी दूतावास से एक करोड़ पैंतीस लाख रुपए का अनुदान प्राप्त हुआ था चूंकि एफ के कानून और उसकी मर्यादाओं के अनुरूप नहीं था जिस वक्त गलवान के अंदर हमारे सेना के वीर जवान चीनियों से भीड़ रहे थे उस वक्त चीनी दूतावास के अधिकारियों को कौन रात्रि भोज दे रहा था while the opposition has every right to ask questions, the question is, do they have the right to actually take away the confidence of our braves? And that brings me to the legitimate question uh, on the news tonight. Why insult Bharat and our braves?
that's the question and that's the debate hashtag india stands tall the debate coming up on the other side you're watching the news hour at nine debate number one on times now super prime time Joining me on the debate tonight, Mr. G. V. L. Narasimha Rao, Member of Parliament and National Spokesperson of the BJP, Dr. Anand Ranganath, an author and scientist, Abbas Haider, National Spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party, Riju Datta, Spokesperson of the Trinamool Congress, Kalimul Hafiz, President of the AIMIM in Delhi. But my first question goes to Dr. Sanjay Jha, author and suspended Congress leader. And Dr. Sanjay Jha, I want to ask you. Asking questions is definitely the right of the opposition. But I find it a little strange that you have to walk out of parliament when you actually want to know details of what transpired in Tawang. And at the drop of a hat, the leader of opposition in Lok Sabha, uh, Mr. Radhi Ranjan Chaudhary, just keeps talking about the land that has been taken away from India by the Chinese almost as if saying that our army, our military forces are not uh, competent enough to keep India's boundaries intact. I want to ask, what is this born out of? Just political uh, point scoring? Or do you realize what kind of a statement this is and how it reflects on the Indian army? Uh, Navika, good evening to you and to all the panelists and to the viewers. See, national security is a bipartisan issue. I think it has got nothing to do with the political party in power or the members of the opposition. Uh, at, at the end of the day, we are talking about the territorial integrity of our country. So right now, the BJP has 300 team members in parliament. Please remember, 240 members of parliament don't belong to the BJP. And they have a legitimate reason to question the government because they also represent the people of India. And that's what a very vibrant democracy should all be about. I want to make one point. I heard Mr. Amit Shah make certain observations on the Congress, and you have heard Pavan Khera's press conference. I can tell you, uh, Navika, that you know this is such puerile pedestrian slugfest between the Congress and the BJP that doesn't make the country look good in the international uh, you know, arena. I think people will wonder that when there is talk about a belligerent China, which we all know, if you read all the articles by the military specialists in, in very esteemed foreign journals, they do warn of a belligerent China strengthening its border infrastructure. We all know that China's defense budget is four times that of India, and to a great extent, we remain vulnerable. I have nobody here. I don't think anybody in the right senses is questioning the intent of the government. Nobody is questioning at all the valor and the courage of a soldier. I think all that, you know, I think my friend DVL needs to basically respond to is that you guys need to be a lot more transparent. You're very opaque. And I think that is something that needs to be addressed. You know, the opposition is questioning you because at the end of the day, don't forget the soldiers are from different parts of India. We are all concerned. The Congress party that I've represented for a long time and over 55 years in government has fought wars, won them against Pakistan. So you should recognize that it is questions asked are with responsibility. Although, Navika, I will admit that one should skip hyperbole and rhetoric that makes India look, you know, pretty much pathetic and small. Well, uh, uh, you know, no, no surprise then that you are suspended from the Congress party. But you're talking about transparency and the fact that the government is opaque. GBL Narsimha Rao, uh, is the Congress very transparent? Have they responded to the questions on what uh, kind of funds and what kind of MOUs uh, they were getting from China? Have they responded to the questions? of what Mr. Rahul, Rahul Gandhi was doing, dining or, uh, you know, banqueting with the Chinese ambassador when Doklam was in full force. Uh, is the Congress very uh, transparent uh, that they are questioning the BJP? Respond to the question raised by Mr. Sanjay Sir? Jha. No, I, uh, Sanjay, I think you, uh, at least you don't have the compulsion of... Uh, 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 speaking for the Congress party, even when they indulge in, in the most irresponsible politics. Let's see, has the Congress been responsible? Like, uh, like Navika, you mentioned in 2017, at the height of Doklam uh, uh, tussle, you have a very secret meeting with Chinese ambassador. 
and the Congress communications head at that time, Randeep Sujewala, came out and lied to the country that there was no such meeting. Then the embassy came out with a statement saying, yes, a meeting did take place. So you were exposed by the statement by the, by the, by the then uh, embassy of China. Then in 2008, when Rahul Gandhi went on a so-called pilgrimage to Kailash Mansarovar, he had met with several Chinese leaders during his journey. What, in what capacity did he have discussions with him? And was he transparent about it? What did he discuss with them, both in 2017 during Doklam crisis and 2018 during Kailash Mansarovar Yatra? And why did the Congress party sign an MOU in 2008, on 7th August 2008, by, uh, so in the presence of Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, and Xi Jinping? What, was, what were the contents of this MOU? Why would a political party in India have a, such an MOU with the Communist Party of China, which is the, which is the, which is the, which is which controls the government in China? Why did the government? Why did the the Congress Foundation, the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, headed by Sonia Gandhi, is it not very cheap? I would say it's very responsible and even cheap to take money from Chinese embassy for so-called research activities of the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. Have you not, has the Congress party not ceded during Nehru's, Nehru era, you have ceded 37,000 square kilometers of land to China. During between 2008 and 13, there have been 600 intrusions into the Indian territory. In 2008, a PLA had built, in 2012, PLA built a observing plot, observing point at uh, at Demchok and in 2008 the Chinese army destroyed the Zoravar fort in Demchok was the Congress party and the government transparent in all these occasions was the Congress party hand in glove with them I think it's very we have been very transparent how can you say we are not transparent the the, the defense minister of the country no makes a statement in both houses of parliament he exactly states what has happened he says there have been some injuries, but there are no casualties, there are no serious injuries. And we have pushed everyone who, intrude, who tried to intrude into our territory. What more transparency do you want? And, has, and, has the Congress and, ever and been And Sanjay Jha, no, Sanjay Jha, you want to respond to Mr. Mr. GVL Narsimha Rao? 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 Of course Rao. you should respond to Mr. GVL Narsimha Rao, but uh, let me also tell you, the roads that have been built, 2,088 kilometers of roads have been built. And should I also tell you what was the stated policy of the Congress party on building roads and infrastructure along uh, the line of actual control? Let's listen in to what uh, former defense minister, Mr. A.K. Antony, had to say in parliament in 2013. Listen in to him. Their infrastructure development is superior to India. We are only catching up. <coughs> that is also history. Why? Independent India, many years as a policy on border, the best defense is not to develop the border. Undeveloped developed border is more safe than developed border. Undeveloped border is more safe than developed border and that is our stated policy. Now, Dr. Sanjay Jha, do you still have an argument after that? Now, because two quick points. I mean, there is no denying at this point of time, and we need to accept it here, that China has got substantial funds and they are, you know, we got a long border, almost 4,000 kilometers. And they are making roads, bridges, heliports, and they have the advantage of having more plain land as opposed to the rocky terrain that is on our side of the border or our side of the line of actual control. But my question to you know GBL, and this is I need to say this very upfront on your program, Navika, because we are all responsible people. I will never say that the BJP is anti-national. I may not agree with their politics. I will never say that. I would expect GVL, for God's sake, I mean, we are both representing here national parties who have governed India to make these, you know, puerile, pedestrian, ethic statements, say Congress is anti-national sector is really preposterous. I mean, even the Congress has asked you many questions, who funds, you know, who funded you, why did you own China? And let's not reduce it to that kind of a sub My only question to 
who is only one, which I'm sure Navika will, will appreciate, that you banned TikTok and a couple of apps after, after Dalwan happened. Do you know, do you know that when Xi Jinping recently got coronated, if you use that term, the entire Dalwan you know, episode was actually played in the background, sent a message about their intent to India. We can't be casual for our defense, number one. Number two, today India's trade deficit deal is at a record with China. China is back to India's biggest trading partner. So what was that big talk about IPL sponsorship and things like Well, well just because you have such an interest in statistics, let me tell you the trade deficit between 2004 and 2014 was 2,000 times, uh, you know, than what it is uh, today. So, so you know, if, if that is your question, uh, the figures are there for everybody to see, but Anand Ranganathan wants to come in. Yes, Dr. Anand Ranganathan. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, Navika, and good evening to my fellow panelists. Very briefly, three issues here number one we are absolutely proud so proud of our jawans who have yet again thwarted chinese aggression and given them a bloody nose without caring about their lives the entire country stands with them and prays for the quick recovery of the injured absolutely number two one hopes the opposition would this time round at least stand united with our defense forces and the government unlike the last time when it was outraging while at the same time hiding its own actions that allowed china to occupy 640 square kilometers of eastern ladakh during the upa a fact reiterated by upa's own foreign secretary sham saran or staying quiet while China managed to make nearly 600 incursions into the Indian side between 2010 and 2013 or when on July 12, 2013, the Chinese entered 28 kilometers deep into our territory at Depsang. Then both the Congress and the Communists were as tightless as the million who's just gobbled up the last Mysore talk on the plate. Number three, number three, leave aside the useless hypocritical opposition, Navika. We have to ask this question as patriotic Indians. Do our armed forces allow themselves to be bullied by China? Absolutely not. But does our government allow itself to be bullied by China? Let me explain. In the wake of Pulwama, where Pakistan killed our Jawans, the India-Pakistan trade came down to zero. In the wake of Galwan, where China killed our Jawans, the India-China trade has been the highest ever. It has crossed $100 billion for two years running straight. And this year, it might surpass $125 billion. Worse. Our exports to China have declined by 36% compared to last year, but Chinese imports have risen. Our deficit is now a staggering $75 billion. Our trade deficit with China, sure, as you said, was $1.5 billion in 2004. It climbed to $37 billion in 2014. It has doubled during the Modi regime. Where is the promised white paper on decoupling from China and Atmanir Bharta? How many Indian companies and multinationals have we coerced away from China in the last three years? Recent research by government-aided RIS has found that mere 327 products such as mobile phones, telecom equipment, cameras, solar panels, AC and penicillin account for three-fourths of the Chinese imports and that for 82% of our total imports from China, it was not the most competitive producer. This implies we can decouple from China by promoting domestic manufacturing and also diversifying our import basket. Sure, Navika, it won't happen overnight. But it's been three years. Surely we could have taken steps. But here we are going in the other direction. Navika, just 30 seconds. Decoupling Navika. will allow us to flex ourselves on the defense front. Right now, China doesn't care because we aren't hurting them economically. But here is the tragedy. Our opposition sides with the center on this. They don't want us to hurt China. And so there is no pressure to rethink on our economic dependence on China. A lesson. GVL Narsimha Rao, I, I'll get GVL Narsimha Rao to respond to you. But uh, Anand Ranganathan, you know, you more than anybody will know that this does not happen overnight. In fact, even the uh, US, United States of America is taking its time in shifting all the manufacturing bases out of China into Vietnam or India. Uh, Apple has done that. And and work in progress is something you can't shut down all industries because you have the pressure of unemployment and economically hurting China. Uh, you know, Dr. Anand Ranganathan, you know the reality. Uh, our power to hurt them uh, is a lot less than their power to hurt us. And, and these steps have to be calibrated. But let me let me get in Kalimul Hafiz Saab uh, of the AIM. Kalimul Hafiz Saab. ओवेसी साहब को आजकल बहुत गुस्सा आने लग गया है हर बात पर सवाल उठा लेते हैं हर बात पर कहते हैं कि भाई चाइना हमारा सामान उठा के ले गया हमारी जमीन उठा कर ले गया अरे जमीन भैया उधर ही है और हमारे जवानों के बाजुओं में दम है नहीं दे रहा किसी को एक 
एक मिलीमीटर भी जमीन तो इतनी चिंता जो आपको हो रही है तो फिर बैठकर सुन ही लीजिए और फिर बैठकर चाइना के हाथ में लड्डू मत पकड़ाइए कि आप जिस तरह से यहां लड़ रहे हैं वो तो चाइना उस पर खुशियां मना रहा होगा ये ये किस तरह की राजनीति है मैं आपसे पूछना चाहती हूं रिस्पॉन्सिबल राजनीति ऐसी हुआ करती है देखिए नाविका जी सवाल कुछ और है लेकिन सरकार भी जवाब वैसे ही दे रही है कि वो कांग्रेस के एक करोड़ पैंतीस लाख याद दिला रही है और अभी भी डिबेट जो है वो डीरेल हो गई है कहीं और चली गई है सवाल सिर्फ इतना सा है कि मेरे अजीम मुल्क पर एक पड़ोसी देश ने हमला किया और मेरे बहादुर जवानों ने उनको खदेड़ दिया ये बात ये हुई नौ जन नौ दिसंबर का वाक्य आखिर सरकार जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी पावर में है इस संसदीय प्रणाली में जितना बीजेपी की जिम्मेदारी है उतनी ही उतनी ही रेस्पॉन्सिबल उसका हिस्सा विपक्ष भी है तो आखिर सरकार ने 9 जनवरी फ्राइडे को ये उनको कॉन्फिडेंस में क्यों नहीं लिया पार्लियामेंट चल रहा है उस सेशन को क्यों नहीं बताया जब प्रेस ने यह लीक कर दिया तो उसके बाद सरकार शर्म की वजह से अपना बयान दे रही है सवाल यह है कि आखिर पॉलिटिकली ये सरकार इतनी डरी हुई क्यों है जब हमारी सेना नहीं डर रही हमारी सेना वहां पर जाकर मार कर आ रही है तो ये सरकार डरती क्यों है बात करने से जिस तरह से जी ट्वेंटी में जब कटसी मीटिंग के लिए हमारे प्रधानमंत्री उठ के गए मिलने के लिए जिनपिन से तब और जो नेताओं से मिले थे उनकी तो फोटो ट्वीट की लेकिन डर की वजह से चाइना के जो प्रेसिडेंट है उनके साथ की फोटो ट्वीट नहीं की थी तो इससे पहले भी सरकार ने देश को गुमराह में गुमराह में रखा डार्क में रखा था और यह कहा था प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कि देश में ना कोई घुसा था ना कोई घुसा है जब कोई घुसा नहीं था और घुसा नहीं है तो फिर आखिर वो पंद्रह राउंड की बात किस पे हुई वो डिसंगेजमेंट क्या हुआ और आज भी डेमचक और डेमसोंग की स्थिति क्या है तो सवाल यह है कि ये जो जिंगुएज में जीती है भारतीय जनता पार्टी जो इसके प्रवक्ता अपनी अपने अपने आप को सेना के पीछे छुपा रहे हैं और कांग्रेस की गलती बताकर अपनी गलती छुपाना चाह रहे हैं तो हम इन्हें नहीं छुपाने देंगे हमारे नेता बैरिस्टर सुद्दीन वैसी साहब ट्रू पेट्रोटिक हैं वो अपने भारत की अस्मिता के लिए भारत की रक्षा के लिए ऐसे सवाल उठाएंगे अब आप उसको गुस्सा कहती हैं वो कहें लेकिन हमारा ये जिम्मेदारी है कि हम सरकार को ये चिताए सरहदों की घटना हो रही है जवाब दीजिए क्योंकि कलीम उल हफीज साहब कह रहे हैं उनका हक है सवाल पूछना वैसे 16 राउंड की टॉक्स हो चुकी हैं 15 राउंड की नहीं तो आप अपनी नॉलेज में जरा इजाफा कर लीजिए कलीमुल साहब जी वी चलिए एक एक आपने बढ़ा दी अच्छी बात है नहीं मैंने नहीं बढ़ाई मैंने नहीं बढ़ाई ये इतनी ही है ऑफिशियल नंबर है जी जी नहीं आपने करेक्ट कर दिया मुझे आपने मुझे करेक्ट कर दिया जी नहीं देखिए नाविका जी जिस पार्टी के सत्ता में रहते हुए जो हजारों स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर का भूमि को भारत ने खोया है उनको शर्म आनी चाहिए यू शुड बी एम दैट यू सपोर्ट अ पार्टी लाइक द कांग्रेस विच हैज सीडेड टेन्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर्स ऑफ इंडियन लैंड वी हैव नॉट सीडेड एन इंच ऑफ लैंड इफ यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू यू यू वॉन्ट टू इंडल्ज इन प्योर सीमेंटिक्स एंड नॉट वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द रियालिटी यू इमेजिन यू वॉन्ट टू हियर ओनली द पी एल ए और आई एस आई स्टोरी and you want to thopo it on people of india there are going to be no takers and you we are not hiding behind the indian forces we are we we certainly we are sun lijiye sun lijiye sun lijiye dhairya rakhiye sun lijiye opponent ko aap opposition aap ho apne confidence mein rahe nahi nahi rahul gandhi chup chup chennai chale jaate hain आप सवाल ये है कि आप सुना कॉन्फिडेंस में है कि जाइए ना वहां नाविका जी ये आपने आप सवाल पूछा आप सुनने का धैर्य रख लीजिए प्लीज फिर आपको कुछ रिबट करना होगा मैं समय दूंगी हाँ तो तो या आई यू नॉट एम दट राहुल गांधी लाइक टू दिस कंट्री दट ही मेट विथ चाइनीज एम्बेसिडर वेन डोकलम वॉज है हाइडिंग इट फ्रॉम द कंट्री and what talks was he having when indian forces were actually having a head to head uh, confrontation in doklam was it not was was it not betraying the people of this country the forces of this country please answer this why did the congress party have a secret and why you what what was the reason behind it and what kind of what, what money 
You, the foundation was getting money from the Chinese embassy for offering what services? Why did Rahul Gandhi, why, why, did, the, uh, why did Defense Minister Aki Anthony say on the floor of the house, we don't want to build infrastructure. We want to open our entire border to China so that they can come in thousands of square kilometers. So was Anthony speaking on his own or was he, was he, was he speaking on behalf of Sonia Gandhi? Please answer these questions. We are not hiding behind anybody. We are proud of our forces. Yes, I, I you are hiding behind the enemy. I will say that again. In, in security, in surgical strikes, you question Indian armed forces. You, you, you pretend as if you are questioning the BJP, but you question the valor of the armed forces in surgical strikes. You made fun of air strikes in Balakot. I think the Congress party, Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi will have to apologize to the forces of this country a million times. You are betraying national security. Well, I will so, say that a hundred times. So, so let me, and when, let me uh, get in, Adhir let me get in Mr. Riju Dutta. Mr. Riju Dutta of the Trinamool Congress. Mr. Riju Dutta, there are precedents <coughs> when on questions of national security, statements are made in parliament but debates are not allowed. It happened 26, uh, on the incident of 26-11. It happened on the incident of uh, uh, you know, nuclear uh, uh, tests that were conducted. It happened on the, uh, in several such uh, incidents in the past. I just want to ask you, what is so different between the statement made today and earlier when it concerns national security, do you think the government should have a debate on the issue uh, for the global uh, fora to actually look at how opposition versus government is happening back home in India on an issue which is of uh, extreme sensitivity for national security uh, just because the opposition thinks it's their right? Navikaji, first of all, uh, let me tell you and all your millions of your viewers that we stand in complete solidarity with the Indian Armed Forces and we are grateful for their valor and we are grateful for their service, number one. Number two, national security is above internal politics. Trinamool Congress stands in complete solidarity with the country in matters of national security. There is no doubt in that. And the current disposition, I am sure they are doing everything they can for securing our borders. Okay. I have just, my party has just two questions to ask. One, the, like uh, Sanjay ji said, that in the parliament, even if they have 303 MPs, there are 240 odd MPs on the other side. Parliament is only one place where the central government is answerable to the country. Why we cannot have a discussion that uh, I think the Honorable MP can answer. Number one point and number two, this incident, this scuffle between the uh, security forces, armed forces of the Indian Army and the Chinese Army happened on December 9th. Why on December 13th, four days, you issue a statement and the Honorable Defense Minister says, Beech mein chutti tha. Beech mein chutti tha. So these are two pertinent questions that I want to okay. ask. All right, GDL Narsimha Rao, respond to the two pertinent questions that have been raised. And one more thing, one more thing. You had two questions, now there is an addendum. Yes, not an addendum, a corrigendum. That I will only say this to Mr. Narsimha Rao, that sir, when you come on TV, I think you are more angry at Rahul Gandhi than we should be at China. So that is all my... All you are you're more angry about Rahul Gandhi than about China and why why when this incident happened on 9th are you informing yeah. the parliament on 13th I'll, I'll and, and not in between yes no I, I'm, I'm uh, certainly angry about uh, the, uh, uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi because we expect him to stand with the country stand with forces I don't expect uh, Pakistan, uh, the, the People's Liberation of Army, I don't expect PLA of China to stand with Indian forces, but I expect Rahul Gandhi, Congress so party, all opposition parties to stand with Indian forces. And that's not the case. So that really makes citizens of this country angry about Congress party, number one. Number two, 
You see, the incident happened on the overwin uh, uh, night of overwinning night of uh, 9th, 8th and 9th December. But certainly it takes for a, a, any particular episode to come to an end and to get all the facts. And because when we present the facts to the parliament, it is not a television debate. The every word spoken on the floor of house has to be vetted and every word has to be authentic. And we have a very, very uh, uh, responsible, responsible uh, uh, position in, in Parliament. So certainly so it takes time Minister, to get all the facts and speak about them. This so is not a leak from China. It is revealed by the government, by the forces. The whole world came to know only because the government allowed this information to go out. Otherwise, it would have no, never sir, been known no, no, possible. No, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir. There are print medias and there are news medias who have leaked this story. And the defense minister on the floor of the parliament said, Chardin Lagge, you they, they have waited. Yes, Where do you think they get the information? Please, Obviously, yes, some, some official sources so only must have given this. So, sir, 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 it's a bona fide question to ask that, uh, you know, the uh, news leaked in the media before the government actually gave a statement on it. Should the government have given a statement before rather than after uh, the media raised the issue and the opposition got to know about it? That's a valid question to ask and you will have to respond to that. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm not saying it's leaked information, but certainly information that appeared in the media not everything that appeared in the media is authentic the government has presented the government would have presented even if it had not come in the media it would have been heard only through the floor of house but certainly so, there sir, are some channels there are some media houses which have uh, 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 with, no no then then there was you know if ninth yeah, yeah, if ninth was the day when this happened there was saturday there was sunday and then came the monday the statement did not come on a Monday. The statement came on a Tuesday. And I think that is the question that is being raised by uh, members of the opposition party. Uh, Dr. Anand Ranganathan. No, no. Thank you for raising that. Uh, 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 Mr. Rao, just 10 seconds. Thank you, Navika, for raising that and Rijuda, because I think that's a very legitimate question. And for a change, I commend the opposition for asking a very logical and rational question. Because the fact remains, Mr. Rao, that when you're saying everything has to be carefully vetted, this is not a negative news as far as India is concerned. We gave a bloody nose to the, to the aggressor. But, uh, you know, the mind boggles at the fact that when it came to surgical strikes, when it came to the Uri attack, how come the government immediately told us within hours of that transpiring? Whereas out here, it takes four days. So obviously, something has something has happened that the government was not very open about declaring this. You have to accept that. Mr. GVL Narsimha Rao, it's, it's a very valid and a very no, legitimate uh, question. Uh, I will Dr. Me. Ranganathan supporting me, I have ordered a yes. copy of Souffle. My you see, sign in, sir. I, 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 Navika, yes, Navika, go on. In, in the case of surgical strikes, the entire operation, yeah. the entire operation concluded by maybe nine or eight in the morning, only when they all returned safe to our uh, Indian territory, you had DGMO addressing that press conference. When the entire operation was over, here, you certainly you had to not only push them back into into their territory and you had to ensure that no one remained on on our side of the border and you also have to ensure that they do you have to have those dialogue which is what honorable uh, defense minister referred to and and complete the process and report to parliament we don't want to create this is not live reporting for god's sake you don't want to report Sir, everything live argument. from the border for, for the GBL media Narsima to lap it or GBL people Narsima to know. Rao, let's, you need to, this let's is very just sensitive. leave it at that a because I don't know how many yes. people are going Navika, to be convinced because 9th ninth, be ninth was when the incident happened, 10th was when the commander's meeting happened, which means everybody had come back and the redressal mechanism had One kicked second, into Navika force. There was still 11th on which... Uh, uh, date, uh, you know, information could have come in and 12th when the statement could have been made. But uh, the will, point has answer. been made by answer. the opposition I and I think uh, on, on that, uh, you know, they will score a point against you and they have reasons to do so. But let me get in uh, Abbas Haider, uh, national spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party. I want to ask you, Mr. Abbas Haider, in 2011, it was Netaji 
Netaji, the tall leader uh, who's seen several winters and summers in parliament, who's a former defense minister, and who told the Manmohan Singh government in 2011, December 4th, that China was glaring at us and was ready to attack. Yet you sat with that government, you didn't question it too much. And two years later, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh even said that trade to karna hi padega because China ke saath trade karna hamare liye zaruri hai. And you accepted that argument. Now, what has what has changed? Just the fact that you are not in power anymore, because China is the same. The incidents continue to uh. happen, and it's not today that China is ready to attack us. Uh, the manner in which the opposition has said this, it was ready to attack us even in 2011, as per the quote of Mulayam Singh Yadav ji. So I want to ask you, badla kya? First of all, uh, my tribute to the brave soldiers who lost their life defending the parliament, the sanctity of our parliament on 13 December 2001. And now, uh, Navika ji, first of all, I, I would like to, you know, differ with both Mr. Jha and Mr. Narsimhan. This is not the time to, you know, to do water boutry about each other. I, I, the most unfortunate thing today I heard from the Home Minister was to, you know, say something about a political party and a political leader. At this time, I, I strongly stand with my government, with the soldiers who are fighting the Chinese at the Indochina border in Tawan. Now, uh, it is the responsibility of the government to form a consensus among the political parties and, you know, uh, they should, you know, it's time we should boost the morale of our soldiers i think uh, right now we sh the chinese the chinese intelligence agency they might be you know monitoring all the news channels so we should give them a strong message we should we are actually united on this issue despite we might have differences on domestic issues but on this issue we are united we are against the chinese aggression because they have they, it is, the aggression is from Chinese side, not from our side. And our soldiers have fought them, you know, with bravery, with valor, even, a, even at a place where firearms are not allowed. So I think it's not the time of water boundary, who has done what. It is now the responsibility of the government to take entire citizen of this country into confidence, every political party. And I think this is an issue of national security. All the citizens and all the political party will come to a consensus despite their differences if you know these I mean uh, such a sensitive issue is on the table now uh, but they you know uh, I would not say about La Lak or Chapat in Sina this is not the time to talk about that maybe you can do it later on but right now you know I think what what you said about Netaji so Netaji's statement, Netaji's advice should be taken by the current government. I mean, see, this is what you, I'm trying to say. If you'll take advice even from the opposition, that will be in your good, in the good of the country. Because at the end of the day, despite our differences, our heart is for our country, well, our beloved nobody nation. Nobody can fault so, you, uh, Navika ji. Uh, nobody can not, fault you, Abbas Haider, for for saying that the government uh, and and the opposition should have a consensus. But is that possible? Is that possible, Sanjay Jha? Is that possible at all? Well, you know, Navika, let me tell you this, that it is the government's responsibility to integrate and basically engage with your Because you are empowered, you have the information, you have the resources, and the opposition can, what will the opposition do, Navika? I don't understand why does the BJP become so paranoid and so insecure about making a public disclosure on a matter that concerns every citizen of this country. And every politician from every party is representing a constituency with varied interests. So all Mr. Narasimha Rao has to do is to talk to his prime minister and engage more actively. What do you mean the by talk to his prime minister? Isn't he yours as well? <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the fact that the BJP has access to him, right? And I think the important point is that this is a this is a demonstration of political leadership. I believe Navika is terribly unfortunate that we are still very petty and parochial and we still bring in the domestic obsession into matters of foreign policy oh, and national security. And, and that's happening from the BJP's end and not the Congress's end, uh, Anand Ranganathan? The ball is in the BJP's Navika. court. <laughs> Navika, Sanjay does have a limited point. But uh, can I just say that, you know, just when... Uh, conscientious uh, layman Indians like us 
uh, who love India four and foremost, uh, uh, you know, uh, about to corner the government and Mr. Rao. Uh, somehow, because of our hypocritical opposition, Mr. Rao uh, seems to get 100 lifelines. I dare say, if uh, KBC was being run, Mr. Rao would be winning all the time. Kabi phone a friend, kabi 50-50. So he has absolutely demolished the Congress, and rightly so. He has exposed the hypocrisy. But we as Indians, we demand the answer to a very simple question that I asked. Why is our trade with China keeping on increasing even after Galwan, when China killed our soldiers, while at the same time, Res after Pulwama, when GBL Pakistan Lansima killed Rao, our soldiers, pointed we question, stopped our trade pointed with Pakistan. question and, and rhetoric apart. Rhetoric mein aap kahiye, hum khader denge, maar denge, hum snub kar denge, all that is fine. But why is our trade growing? And just blacking out some uh, Chinese apps, is that enough? Uh, this is a, a, a topic that uh, uh, certainly needs a different discussion. But let me tell you, we are the whole uh, trade is so integrated. We cannot certainly stop our uh, supply lines. A lot of industry here will blank out. If you say, no, I want to reduce my, uh, my, my, my uh, imports, so we put a ban on imports. If you, if you put a ban on imports, it will come down. Can I, can I just complete, can I please, can I, can I please make, can I please make my point? Let's say your bulk, you see, even during the COVID, all this became very evident. And a number of industries are actually, they're dependent on China for their raw materials. So they will, if I say you stop importing uh, uh, your, but your, your chemicals. But GBL Rao, the but question no, no, is now, in three years, can't tomorrow. we find out so, so, alternative are, suppliers? Up, in now, three now, years, we can't we find out alternative suppliers is the question, question being asked. Uh, and and Riju Dutta. No, Navika. No, 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 Rijuda, no, Rijuda, just no, 10 seconds. Rijuda, just 10 no, seconds. No, no, can I complete? Please, please. PLI, production linked incentive scheme. The PLI scheme is entirely intended to ensure that we are able to build up Nirbharata and the response to the PLI scheme is tremendous. We are certainly making progress, but it will take time. You cannot shift to another source of supply right away. It will take time. There is Navika. no magic wand, says you don't want to, you Navika, please, 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 please revisit what I said. I have answered all the uh, uh, eloquent rebuttals of my good friend Mr. Rao because yes, of course it will take time, but in three years, you want some concrete action or a white paper to at least reverse it a little bit. Here we go, and especially when the government aided think tank says 82% of the Chinese imports can be sourced from a third country cheaper. So, you have to think tank that you have to get 82% from your own. And you have to get China. This is what I have to do. Well, that, that, that definitely is a question. But, but Riju Datta, Riju Datta. Of course, these questions are there and that is, that is exactly what the debate on the floor of the House should have been all about. But the opposition walks out because what does the opposition want? The opposition wants operational details of what happened uh, at Yangtze in the Tawang sector. Now, that is information that cannot be shared in open uh, fora with anybody. So shouldn't the so opposition the actually be worried about the other parts rather than just this? Ma'am, then the defense minister should have very clearly said, I will not share the technical details results for security reasons. For national security, we cannot share it, number one. Number one point. Number two, if you don't discuss it, what is the point in opposition sitting inside the parliament if it is a one-way street? And you do not have respect for the federal center. Forget it. Number three, what Dr. Ranganathan said, very categorically he pointed out, and he has categorically grasped BJP here. Aap, your trade is going up. Why did you ban TikTok then? Unnecessarily, why did you ban TikTok? There was no reason. And every time you're blaming from Nehru to Aurangzeb to Rahul Gandhi, Aray, Baba, that is why Congress is not in power anymore. If we take only the... No, no, uh, Congress, Congress is not in power, but... but
Congress that talks about it? transparency and opaqueness of the BJP uh, Sanjay Jha, why do, should it not answer what they were doing with the Chinese ambassador? Why should they yeah, not uh, answer? They, answer? They, they, why they should they not answer what that. are the details of their MOU? Abita. Why should they not answer what was the reason for the donations into the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation? Navika, very short answer. No, no, one minute, one minute. Riju, just one minute. Navika, I think the Congress party today answered all these very, in my opinion, bizarre, outrageous allegations by the PJP. I think a very comprehensive rebuttal has already been given to Mr. Rao. In fact, Mr. Rao should wonder why is he not responding to the questions asked of the BJP about who funded you? You also have a lot of links with the Chinese. You haven't explained that at all. But I don't think I would like to reduce this debate to such trivialities. I believe both the Congress and the BJP are patriotic, understand India's territorial integrity. The question is, we have a different strategy for reaching our own, you know, kind of uh, diplomatic ends. But to today, the BJP's biggest problem is its inability to actually shepherd its role as the government in power. If you do not engage with the opposition, then this is what is going to happen. And I think ultimately, it's the citizens of India who remain in the dark. Well, well, if uh, wishes were horses, uh, uh, Dr. Jha, maybe, Navika. maybe people of India are expecting, uh, you know, that the Congress is a better party in handling all of this. After all that it has given away in terms of opportunities of solving uh, the China crisis. But uh, Kalimul Saab, Kalimul Saab. सवाल यह है कि आपने तो इसको कंपटीशन बना दिया है सबसे बड़ा पेट्रियट कौन आप कह रहे हैं कि ओवेसी साहब है कांग्रेस हो नहीं सकती बीजेपी है नहीं नहीं 2014 से 2000 नहीं 2014 से पहले मोदी जी कहते थे कि चाइना को लाल आंखें दिखानी चाहिए अब वो मोदी जी लाल आंखें क्यों नहीं दिखा रहे और जो जिस जिंगवेज में पूरी बीजेपी जी रही है छप्पन इंच के छाती के साथ तो वो चाइना का नाम आते ही वो सुकड़ क्यों जा रही है तीसरी बात चाइना के नाम पर देखिए हमारे जो फे, जो फेलो पैनलिस्ट हैं उन्होंने बहुत अच्छी बात कही एक एक तो बहुत ही जबरदस्त बात ये कही कि भाई आपकी जो ट्रेड भी ग्रो कर रही है आपका जो इंफॉर्मेशन है वो भी आप नहीं लीक कर रहे मीडिया लीक कर रही है तो ये ये वीक लीडरशिप नहीं है तो और क्या है ओके हम यही बात बताना चाहते हैं जी मैं नरसिंहा राव रिस्पॉन्ड जो सरकार है वो 45 सेकंड्स टू यू 45 सेकंड्स टू यू जीवीएल नरसिंहा राव एंड लास्ट वर्ड टू आनंद रंगनाथ जीवीएल 56 इंच की छाती है तभी तो 1 इंच जमीन भी हड़प नहीं सकती है चाइना that it, it is chappan inch ki chhati that is why pakistan is still licking its wounds pakistan is not able to disturb india even once whereas during the congress there were hundreds of terror incidents sir, china every city city in this sir, country, pakistan including to sir, mumbai hyderabad every china. city in this country nahi main bata raha hu china china ha china hi ek inch zameen nahi le pa rahi hai कांग्रेस होती तो हजारों स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ले जाती एक हजार किलोमीटर तो यही लाल आंख है और क्या है एक हजार किलो यही लाल आंख है और छप्पन सुन लीजिए आनंद रंगनाथ चाइना स्टेटेड पॉलिसी वॉज नॉट टू बिल्ड नॉट टू बिल्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और रोड इन इन दी एरिया दैट हैड इंडिया बॉर्डर विथ चाइना we, we on the other Navika. hand now have 2000 plus kilometers of roads that have been built in the last uh, eight years navika and i am the first person to congratulate you see the problem is that the upa did so many things wrong that is why it was voted out now there's no point recounting them just other than expose the hypocrisy but main hafiz saab se ek sawal puchna chahta hu bhai saab thank you very much aapne mere ko comment kiya main bhi aapko compliment karna chahta hu lekin aap ek chhota sa sawal bata dijiye कि चाइना ने अपने कंसंट्रेशन कैंप्स में वन एंड हाफ मिलियन उइगर मुस्लिम्स को ट्रैप करके रखा हुआ है उनको पोर खिला रहे हैं आज तक ओवेसी साहब ने इसको एक बार भी एक बार भी कंडेम क्यों नहीं किया है ये बताइए 
आनंद हैज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया कंडेम देखिए कम से कम कम से कम सौ बार कंडेम किया है वो आपने देखा नहीं है आपके सामने से नहीं गुजरा होगा देखिए चाइना ही नहीं दुनिया में जहां भी कहीं माइनॉरिटीज के साथ जुल्म होगा हम उसके खिलाफ आवाज उठाएंगे अरे हम तो अपनी सरकार के खिलाफ उठाते हैं हम तो छप्पन इंच के सीने के खिलाफ आवाज उठाते हैं साहब जिनके अंडर जिनके शासन में हम रहते हैं चाइना की क्या हैसियत है इसलिए आप हमारे उस पर बात मत करिए सवाल यह है कि इस वक्त हमने मोदी जी को सरकार को चिताया है कि आप डरिए नहीं हमारी सेना बहादुर है मुकाबला well, करेगी और well, well, well. पीछे छोड़ कर लास्ट वर्ड बीन सेड ऑन इंडिया फेस ऑफ विद चाइना सर्टनली नॉट इज द ऑपोजिशन अपिंग द एंटे विल द गवर्नमेंट कम इन विद मोर इंफॉर्मेशन बिकॉज ट्रांसपेरेंसी इज वॉट द ऑपोजिशन इज डिमांडिंग इज इट in its right to do so that's a question we are asking thank you very much to all my panelists for joining me on the debate tonight and breaking news coming